guys are performed at a level that is, uh, you know, it's recognized nationally. So once again, I hand it to team here right now to be recognized what we did when we had this crowd of people filling your showroom right for the big unveiling which was a big big deal and now I'm here as a representative of the motor company and uh, with a lot of gratitude from me to you personally and to, to uh, present this very tasteful trophy that was handmade and and there's some real hand making of the uh, of the repair process. Yeah. <laughs> um, we, we, the motor company, uh, invest a lot uh, to try to help you be successful, but we know that every single day you invest even more of your personal lives, talent, time, and energy to make Woodstock Harley Davidson successful, and you guys are a team, and uh, there's no I in team. Let's remember that. There is an M and an E, but there's no I. There's no I. All right. There's an I in winter. <laughs> That's right. There's an I in winter. So uh, this trophy is from the motor company to you. We hope you'll display it proudly. We're very, very proud of what you've done. There's so much to be said about this unique motorcycle, and um, I think you're getting some publicity already. I'm working with Joy to help you get even more publicity and continue to brag about it all year long. And I think this is a big moment for Woodstock Harley Hayden. <laughs> Talking for 20 minutes, so <laughs> let's not do that. Let's build. Wait, did, you have, did you have a few words that you wanted to say uh, about your what? team and the, and the things that they've accomplished? The, uh, the, the, the easiest thing for me to say is, we, uh, we, I threw this project on Greg's shoulders already four weeks. Stand up, Greg. Four weeks into the process. Okay. So this is actually he. You know what they they talk about pulling a rabbit from you know where? That's what he did with this because he had four weeks less time. Any other team? This would not have happened. I mean, we got a late start with it, but like I said, we work. We really worked together on it. We all legitimately contributed a lot to this, and I'm. It's crazy as it is. After all the projects we've done, and all the tight deadlines between customers or shop projects, this one actually came together probably in the fastest time, and it came together among the best. It actually. I almost hesitate to say this because I don't want it to happen again. It came off flawlessly. <laughs> uh, it really did come together. We all worked together. The parts showed up on time. Everything got where it needed to be. The time was allotted. Glenn had time to put it together. Dennis had time to you know, uh, work on the improvements that he worked on. We, we had the time and we got it done actually ahead of, t ahead of schedule. Um, and it came out as nice as it did. So I'm, like I said, I owe that. And I, you know, also, like I said, thank you to Bill and Kyle for the opportunity to do this as well. And just to everybody else, too, for joining helping us out and, and getting us uh, out there on the map. Obviously, service department for everything we do all the time. And uh, fellow parts team, really everybody. It's really everybody's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This, I mean, this really is both a parts and a service award. And that's where I think we can really shine this year. We've got a lot of uh, publicity with the Daytona bike. And now following that up, which is by itself a hard thing to pull off, with getting in the top 16 of a national dealer contest, uh, that just speaks volumes about where the team in Woodstock is going. I couldn't be more prouder. I get goosebumps every time I go past this now. So uh, I'm thrilled, and I think it's gonna, it's gonna show we're gonna have a really banner year this year. I think the name of Woodstock is really getting out there, and I think this is just one of those kind of subtle reminders why our team puts their best foot forward on every single project, and this was, they were timed out of this. I mean, to line up even, you know, Sumax to get the to get the powder coating done. They were on last minute notice. They changed their powder coating schedule to accommodate us, and then changed it again to correct what we needed to correct. So that was all on Greg. So thank you, Greg. Great job with the uh, putting this all together. I'm just um, I'm super super proud of these guys that they they pulled that off and when Bill came to me and said hey let's let's do this and we were already four weeks behind schedule and I said Bill you know I gotta tell Greg <laughs> and you guys know Greg <laughs> and so for for a, a, a while I think that's the first time you said it was actually four weeks I kept saying that nobody ever said oh, no, 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 no. 
we were gonna keep we we're gonna keep you kind of kind of calm down. I had a plan yeah. a few. Minutes. And I'm like, you know, this is gonna go over well. So we, we told Greg, and it was immediate um, uh, frenzy. I've never seen so many people in this dealership pull out the stops, and, and the the bike had everybody surrounding it, you know. And uh, I think it. it not for nothing. I mean, the service department really did pull through on this. You guys, you guys did push hard, and without them, uh, it would have never happened. Have gotten anywhere with it. Mm -hmm. But I think you know, I'm proud of you guys. You guys did good, mm -hmm. national level. You should be proud of yourselves. Absolutely, absolutely, great. Well, I'm sure there'll be a lot of photo ops coming up uh, with the trophy and the motorcycle and and so forth. But for now. Uh, and what, what else can we do but give another round of applause to the whole team? Congratulations, everybody. Back early, we have pizza for the whole store right inside that cubicle. What? Yeah.